Hello and welcome to the WB Mason Coach Report on GoHofstra.com. Joined as always by the head coach of the Hofstra Baseball Program, John Russo. Coach, welcome. Hey, thanks, Len. Coach, coming off a two-game, uh, splitting a four-game series with Towson last weekend. Big doubleheader on Saturday, sweeping that doubleheader after losing the first two on Friday. A uh, huge game from from uh, Rob Weishire in the game two and the extra inning win. Now, you know, five days removed, four days removed from that uh, series. What are your takeaways from Towson? You know, I, I got to give Towson a lot of credit. I mean, we had a six-run lead there on Friday, game one, and, you know, usually that's a – I got to think odds of winning are pretty good there and, and to not win and shows what type of uh, tough of a club they were, you know, how much of an experienced club. I, I thought, you know, coming into the weekend, they had like six guys that had 100 ABs. We had nobody that had 100 ABs coming in. And, you know, the, the four extra weekends, I think, just plays a lot you know, that's why we do the early season. They were able to pull it off and their experience really played out on Friday. You know, no lead was tough, any situation down eight, six and, um, you know, game one still scored three in the ninth. You got to just give them a lot of credit. And then um, you got to give Hofstra baseball a lot of credit to lose uh, games one and two, the way we did all in the, you know, extra one in extra innings, one in the ninth and to come back and answer with two wins on Saturday when we could have put our heads down and felt bad for ourselves was amazing. And, you know, um, really proud of the whole dugout, uh, the whole team. I mean, I thought every guy gave as much energy as they humanly had for 36 hours uh, this weekend. And, you know, like you said, Rob Weishire, I mean, he had a day that may never be duplicated ever at Hofstra's field again, you know, six hits and a homer and three doubles easily could have been, you know, five doubles. I think he had the one down the line that uh, was a double if Tino doesn't have to hold up. And then the game winner has to be Marcus single, but it's probably a double most days. And, you know, just an incredible, incredible day. And, um, you know, got set the tone for us was Joyce that day going 127 pitches and not having his best stuff. Uh, you know, he had trouble with the leadoff guy. He had trouble with two outs. And, you know, people always talk about, you know, his Northeastern performance. I'll talk about his, this performance more because that's what shows true character when you don't have anything yet you still battle. And, you know, that's what I thought we did. And we caught a break or two on Saturday. And I think it's maybe the break or two we needed to get going. All right. That brings us to this weekend. A rather unique weekend, obviously, with the uh, COVID situation and the division play in CA this year, not playing the South teams. You get to play a team for a second series during the regular season. What, you know, only playing Delaware, playing Delaware at home this weekend, you only played them two weeks ago. How do you approach this series and what do you take away from the first series and how do you make that work to your advantage, you know, in adjustments and things like that going into the series? No, usually when you play somebody like normally the kids don't, know anybody going into the weekend that they'll know their main guys and then they feel them out and then over the course of three games four games they, they have a good feel for their whole lineup but then you don't see them again the rest of the year ever you know that's going to be the intriguing part for me you know uh, jet's thrown against these guys joyce has just thrown against these guys two weeks ago he knows every hitter in the lineup they know every hitter in our lineup like you know what kind of chess match are guys going to throw differently are guys going to throw the same you know, if you got a guy out last time with a uh, slider, you're going to have to go fastball in this time. You know, the, the, the part that the kids uh, do here is going to be the intriguing part to me. And, you know, I think walking in, all of our hitters know all of their pitchers. All of our pitchers know all of their hitters and same vice versa for Delaware on us. So, you know, it'll be a truly man on man battle. And, you know, we had a extra inning on Friday night and a three run lead on game three. And, you know, all first three games were all, um, you know, really competitive. And then game four, you know, we made six errors, possibly eight errors. And, um, you know, it was never really competitive. So it'll be interesting to see how we answer back. It'll be really nice to just play Friday, doubleheader, Saturday, single Sunday, because, you know, 36 innings and in 36 hours is impossible. I mean, we did it, we pulled it off, but, you know, guys were really beat up this week. Uh, you know, our trainer D has, literally probably ran more ice bats than she has in her whole career this week. Some guys were doing two ice bats this week. You know, their, their bodies are so sore and, you know, we, we just really had to take it off of them uh, easy on practice. And, you know, I think the guys are very aware of the stakes. They're very aware of the weekend. 
possibly I think it is going to be the last home weekend for a lot of seniors. Um, so that's, that'll play something I think into the energy this weekend, but you know, we'll have the same group dressing the same group going for the first time in a long time where we had back to back, you know, same guys the whole weekend. I know you said, you know, obviously the last series in Delaware, you know, you said it yourself, the team, you weren't happy with the way you performance from top to bottom, including yourself. So how, what's the message this week to write the mindset of the team to uh, avoid duplicating a, a repeat performance? You know, I think we straightened a lot of that out before even playing Towson. Like we, you know, one of the things you could have done was, you know, put your head down and walk away from it. I thought, you know, part of what we needed to do was talk about that series, talk about the stuff we messed up, talk about how I messed up, like, you know, decisions I didn't make, decisions they didn't make. And I said, well, you know, I think it was good to let it all out. I think it really helped us focus on Towson and the task at hand. I think being off Sunday, you know, really helped us recover a little bit mentally and physically. And then, you know, everything since Monday has been focused on Delaware. And, you know, for us, you know, we kind of know what Delaware is going to do. They've got four starters, uh, two relievers. They really, really are heavy on Wakely and Gianni. And, you know, we know that they're going to get us, um, you know, Carpenter's gotten really hot um, during our series, even kept it going against Northeastern. I mean, there is no secrets going into this weekend. It's, you know, if Jack Jack is better than Chris Ludman, if Chris Ludman's better than Jack Chad, like who is going to man up and uh, do it. And I'm really intrigued. You know, this is more like a professional baseball type series where, you know, you just saw an opponent two weeks ago. And so this hasn't happened before for us. Uh, in conference play, it's a first, and you know it'll be interesting to see how the guys react to it. All right, that's this Friday at 3 p.m. Saturday, a doubleheader starting at 11, and then Sunday, the series finale at one. All the games will be streamed live on GoHosh.com as well as live statistics available. Uh, Coach, thank you for your time. Hey, thanks, Len. Good luck this weekend, and you've been watching the WB Mason Coaches Report on GoHosh.com.